Hello and welcome to our pack tutorial. In this lesson we'll show you our new tax engine. It is located in settings, taxes. We have tried to cover a vast number of tax systems and so each user can adjust a specific tax system according to their preferences. We have, we have defined several tax levels. As you can see, the first level tax category, where you will find the most common tax rates, such as standard rate and reduced rate. The second level tax locations. These are different locations where you define your taxes. For example, in the sales tax system, you can define taxes according to city regulations or federal regulations, etc. In this example, where we used VAT system, we can see that we can see that domestic tax rate was used in exportation as well, and the last level tax jurisdiction represents the kind of tax you are using. In the VAT system it is value added tax as you can see here. But by joining these three levels of taxes you can define rates for different occasions, situations, etc. As you can see in our example for the first level we have defined standard rate and reduced rate and for the second level tax location we have defined domestic trade and export. So if we want to add a new case to our tax category just click new and and define the name of this tax let's say exception and as you can see Airpack has offered has offered us to set the rates for either domestic trade or export. Let's say that this tax rate is 5% for domestic trade. Click OK to confirm and and as you can see we have defined a tax rate for domestic trade. Now if you want to see from a different perspective, go to tax locations and here you can see three different tax rates, standard rate, reduced rate and exception rate, which was defined previously. Now, since we have defined taxes and tax rates, we need to link them to other elements of RPEG for example to our partners or products. Go to products and services, add a new product, define the name, let's say product number one, define other useful data as well and select a tax category, select a desired category. As you can see we have previously defined a standard rate, a reduced rate and one exception. In this, in this example we will use a standard rate. Click OK to confirm and let's add another product. Let's say product number two which will have a reduced rate click OK to confirm. Now go to warehouse list and here it is important to define to which tax location a warehouse belongs. So for the first warehouse we'll say we'll say that the first warehouse belongs to domestic trade and let's define the sec let's define the second one let's say that it belongs to export trade. 
click OK to confirm. The same procedure goes for your partners. Go to partner list, click new, define the name and other important data. Define the tax location and when you're done click OK to confirm. Now let's add a foreign partner. Click new, define the name and let's define the tax location, let's say ex export. Click OK to confirm and now everything is settled for invoicing go to go to beginning inventory to check if you have enough products in stock if not add some add your products define quantities these prices are without taxes when you're done click OK okay now after you have defined your beginning inventory you can go straight to invoicing go to invoices and add a new invoice and here you will see all the adjustments you made previously regarding taxes and tax rates in this example we will use our domestic partner let's say company 001 and let's say product 1 quantity 10 define the price and as you can see the tax rates for product 1 and product 2 are different because we have defined these rates because we have defined different rates for these products now go to document result and here you can see the result of this document go back click OK to confirm this invoice and now let's add another invoice for our foreign partner repeat the steps define the name and add products let's say product 1 quantity 10 price will be the same as it was in the previous example and as you can see there is no tax because there is no taxes for this partner click OK to confirm and go to document result to see the result of this document as different from a regular VAT tax system, the sales tax system has, has special tax categories where we have different tax rates for different products and different groups. Those are all different tax rates for these groups. And this, these different tax rates vary depending on tax locations so for example for a specific tax location as you can see example number one under tax location St. Clara County we have one type of tax rates and for another, and for another county we have completely another tax rates. So using our tax engine you can define different tax categories, tax locations and finally we have tax jurisdiction which stands for different types of taxes that is specific tax regulations. The combined tax rate field is generated based on joining tax category and tax location and so by clicking on a specific item in tax category let's say computers you can see the combined tax rate which consists of those tax jurisdiction 
rates such as state tax rate, county tax rate, special tax rate as well and so on. And so by using tax categories, locations and jurisdiction you can at any time define different tax rates and taxes for different products, partners, etc.